Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorites throughout the month of June. I cannot believe June is already over, like that's crazy. That means that 2017 is already halfway through, like my mind is blown. I don't understand how these six months just went by so fast, but I have a few products and other things that I've really been liking throughout the month of June and I'm going to share them with you guys, but before we jump into the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram, I'll put it right here. When you guys are watching this, I will be in LA. As of right now, I kind of decided that I'm not going to be filming like a vlog or anything just because I kind of want to enjoy my trip. So if you guys want to see pictures and sneak peeks from my trip, make sure to follow me on all my social medias. They'll be in the description down below and I'm going to be posting a lot on there. So I don't know when I'm honestly when I'm going to post this video, but I'll probably still be in LA when I post this. So if you guys want to see stuff from my trip, just make sure to go check out my social medias. Okay, so let's just jump right into the video. So I'm going to start off with this. This, this, this is Dr. Bronner's Lavender Organic Hand Sanitizer, and this is just like a spray hand sanitizer, so it's just like you spray it like this. And I really like it because it smells so good. I love the smell of lavender. It's like the perfect little size. I'm pretty sure um, you can take it on a plane. This is two fluid ounces, and it's lasted me a long time. I've had this for a while. It was only like $6. I got this from Urban Outfitters, but I've seen it other places too. I just love this so much because honestly, I'm a germ freak, and sometimes when I'm like out eating lunch or whatever, or wherever I am, I don't feel like getting up to wash my hands or I don't feel like getting up to go to the bathroom or after I go thrift shopping or something and I just want to wash my hands, I'll just spray this on my hands. I always, always keep this in my purse and I love it so much. So I would definitely recommend this if you like the smell of lavender. It doesn't, it honestly doesn't even smell like hand sanitizer to me, it just smells like lavender which is great, so I love this. So after I get out of the shower, what I like to do is I like to use this mask. This is the Fresh Rose Face Mask, and I am obsessed with this. I still have the box because it's so pretty. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's kind of like a gel-like texture. I think I've mentioned this in a couple of my videos before, so if you watched those, you would have seen this, but the packaging is very, it's glass, it's very heavy. It just feels like in good quality. I love the smell. I leave it on for like maybe 10, 15 minutes, and then I just wash it off with warm water and I don't cleanse my skin after. Just, I just love the way this feels on my face. It feels so nice after a shower. It just makes me feel so refreshed and like I'm in a spa. Love this stuff so much. I definitely think you should try it, but maybe don't buy the full size unless you know you really like it. Okay, so I guess we'll just stick with shower since we're already here. So the next thing I've been loving in the shower section is the Soap and Glory Flake Away Shea Butter Sugar and Peach Seed Powder Spa Body Polish. <laughs> that was such a mouthful. This is what it looks like. I've been wanting to try Soap and Glory like scrubs or body lotions or whatever for a long time and this one caught my eye. The peach shea butter and sugar like that just sounded so good to me. It smells so amazing. Honestly, it doesn't really smell like peach to me. It just has a very like perfumey smell, but I love it. I, it just makes me feel really bougie and it comes in this huge container. I like to just take a huge scoop of it and just scrub my entire body with it. It just makes me feel so clean and I love scrubbing with this and then shaving after and I just get out and I feel like a new person. But, okay, so next I'm gonna move on to kind of like makeup. So the first thing I wanna talk about, this stuff, I don't even know what it is, how it works, who made it, I don't know. This is the Sephora Collection Instant Dry Brush Cleaner Spray. This stuff, I don't even, this is perfect for if you're using makeup brushes and you wanna clean them in between, but you don't have time to wait for them to dry, like when you really go in with water and soap and clean them. This stuff, like I don't know how it works, but it works. So you take a dirty makeup brush and you just spray it a couple times, like on top and on the sides, and then you take like a paper towel or a cotton pad or whatever, and you just rub it on the cotton pad and you can see all of the makeup, all of the color comes off of the brush, and then the brush is completely clean and you can use it in another color. I love this so much because I use this when I'm doing like eyeshadow looks and I'm like oh no like I'm doing a pink eyeshadow look and my brush has black eyeshadow on it from the last look I did. I'll just spray this it comes right off it's so perfect. This little bottle was only I think it was pretty cheap maybe $12 I don't really remember. It's Sephora collection so obviously it's not going to be that much. I I really don't get how it works, but it does, and I am in love with this. I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this because it's so great. So if you're the kind of person that doesn't like to clean your brushes all the time, but you find yourself like needing a clean brush when you're doing your makeup, definitely try this out because it's so quick, so easy, and it's cheap too, so why not? 
Okay, so the next makeup thing I'm going to talk about is the Wet n Wild Highlighter, and this is in the color Precious Petals. I have been loving this so much. I'm wearing it right now, as you can see. I found myself reaching for this over, like, even my high-end highlighters. I'm actually going to Los Angeles tomorrow, and I'm definitely going to be bringing this because it's so small. Just easy to carry around, and, I mean, if it breaks, it was only, like, $5, so it's not going to be such a pain to replace it. The color is amazing. The payoff is amazing. Like, it's just, it seems like a high-end product. If the label wasn't on it, you would think it's a high-end product. If you haven't tried this yet, what are you doing with your life? This is so amazing. I love it. Okay, so the last makeup thing I have is the Hulu. Hula Quickie Contour Stick and I love this thing so much. I love the Hula Bronzer and I've been using it for a long time and I saw this and I was like, you know what, I'm going to try it. I've seen people using it in YouTube videos and I saw it in the store. It's just literally, it's like the same color as the Hula Bronzer. It's just in like a cream stick form and it claims on the box that it's um, a cream to powder formula so I like to go in with um, a contour brush and just blend it out and then if the line is still a little bit too harsh, I'll go over it with my beauty blender and kind of just dab it out but I have really been loving this it's super easy I'm definitely going to travel with this too really does what it says it's the quickie contour stick I just use it really quickly if I'm like in a rush and I don't have time to put other makeup on this is what I'll use and I love it this is the slip silk pillowcase and this oh my god I've wanted this for so long my mom got this for me for my birthday so shout out to you mom thank you I love this so much it's so pretty this is in the caramel color this one I just think adds like a little pop of something different to my room I love this thing so much it's so soft whenever I like lay down in my bed at night I just feel like a queen like going to bed so in the back it promotes um, anti-sleep crease this pillowcase doesn't cause any creases on your face it also helps keep your skin's moisture and expensive face and hair products where they belong on your face and hair just makes me feel like a queen so the next thing I'm going to talk about is a little controversial this is a book and this is the 13 reasons why book and I decided to read this for obvious reasons because you know all of the controversy going on with the show so I watched the show of course I was obsessed with the show I thought it was really good and so I decided to read the book and see how it was different and I know this it might have like warped my opinion of it since I watched the show before I read the book but I read the book I knocked this out and maybe like a couple weeks um it was really it was like a really easy read for me just because I kind of wanted to like I kind of knew what was gonna happen but I also wanted to see what was different and I liked the book but honestly I think the TV show was better maybe that's because I watched it first I don't know I'm not gonna spoil the ending for those of you that haven't read it or watched the show but the ending in the book was different than the ending in the TV show and I know there was a lot of people talking about that and that controversy and so I don't want to get too deep into that but I really did like this book um, I think it's a great book for young teenagers to read and kind of like understand the story and kind of how this is not just a story like it happens in real life and so I think this is a great book that everyone should read even if you don't like the show, even if you don't want to be involved with all the controversy or whatever. All of that aside, I just think this is a good book and you should read it because it's definitely educational but it's also like the story is easy to follow along with so I really like this book and I would recommend it to anyone. The Harry Styles album on vinyl, yes. So my aunt and my cousins got me this for my birthday, so thank you guys. I've really been loving this. Obviously, why wouldn't I love it? It's so beautiful. I know I'm gonna keep this for my entire life. I have a little growing um, vinyl collection. It's not super big, but um, this is definitely gonna be on top of my stack. Can we just take a moment? Like, can we just take a moment? Um, excuse me. I just think everything sounds different on vinyl. I think it's like a great thing to just have because I'll have this for a long time and I just think it's really cool and I love it so much. Obviously I've been loving the album and just to have it on vinyl kind of solidifies my obsession for it. So my next favorite is a TV show and the show is Orange is the New Black and I have been obsessed with this show. I literally just finished it. Like, I finished the fifth season right before I sat down to film this video, but if you don't know what Orange is the New Black is, it's a Netflix original, so it's on Netflix. There are five seasons, and the fifth season just came out. It focuses on a woman's prison called Litchfield, and you get to see like all of the it's not a reality show it's a scripted show but you get to see all of the relationships between each like all the different communities in the prison and all of the women like together and kind of what the prison is like and before I started watching this show I really didn't know like what prison would be like at all and it kind of just gives you like
like a deeper insight into what life in prison is like and you get to see all of the prisoners like backstories and where they came from and why they're in prison and it has really funny aspects to it and it also has really deep dark aspects to it and the whole show is just so great and like once you start watching it you just get really invested if you haven't seen the show I definitely would recommend that you watch it it's such an amazing show the actors are so great and I know it's won a lot of awards so if you haven't seen it yet what are you doing you need to watch this show it's so good okay so my last favorite are gonna be a couple of my favorite songs this month if you guys want to see the songs that I've been listening to this month make sure to go follow me on Spotify the link is in the description and I make a monthly playlist every month so I have a a lot a lot of songs on my June playlist for this year so make sure to go check that out so you can see all the songs that I've been listening to but I'll give you guys a little sneak peek on a couple of my favorites one of my favorites has been prom by SZA and this one is on her new album I think that was the first song off the album that I heard and I just instantly fell in love with it Feels by Calvin Harris featuring Pharrell Williams, Katy Perry, and Big Sean. It's just such a good song. It's like the perfect song to drive like down the highway to, like with your windows down, like blasting. I just, it's the perfect like summer song, I think. The beat is like so catchy and like you can like dance to it. I love this song so much but that is all I'm gonna give you guys for the songs because I don't want to ruin my favorite songs you've never heard video coming up soon so if you guys want to see my other my favorite songs you've never heard videos that I've made before you can go I don't know go watch them they're on my channel I've made two and the third one is coming up soon and if you guys want to see all of the other like 60 songs that I've been listening to this month non-stop go check out my Spotify playlist the link is in the description thank you guys so much for watching I love filming this video if you want to see more favorites videos on my channel let me know by commenting down below because I don't do them every month just because I have a hard time keeping up with them give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions for any future videos. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn on the little bell for post notifications because I'm currently not on a posting schedule. I don't post at a certain time so if you want to know when I post a video make sure to turn on post notifications. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!